This is the first in a series explaining to you about the core colour pencils I use. This video is all about the Derwent Studios. One of the questions I am asked, I think the most, is which pencils do I use and which pencils can I recommend? So I thought I'd do a, um, a series of videos on which pencils that I use. And I'm going to start with the, I'm trying to get them to look nice and pretty here and it's not really working, with the Studios, the Derwent Studios. You can see these are the ones that I use all of the time uh, and I'm just going to give you a little brief introduction as to why I like them, what I use them for um, and why you should consider um, adding them to your toolkit, I guess. Um, the reason I've got this um, drawing underneath here is because I'm using all of these pencils here to create the, the horn on this ram. Now, the colours in the studio range are incredibly subtle. There aren't many, well, I don't think there are any alternative colours in any of the other brands that, uh, that are exactly like these. Very natural shades, brilliant for landscapes, um, you know, wildlife, animals, that type of thing. Um, and they're also very hard. So I'm using pastel matte on this particular piece um, and these pencils are, are brilliant to go down as a first first layer because you can use a little tiny little bit more pressure which means that the tooth just flattens down a touch um, and they also give a really nice smooth base to then work your other pencils on if, if that's what you wish to do. So the colours that I've got here and these are the core colours that I use in the studio range they have a range of 72 so this is the this is the box here see all my camera equipment there um, and I um, I've got the whole set, but I tend to just use the browns. Um, you need to just be careful of the light fastness because as many of the other brands, there are certain pencils that aren't quite as light fast as others. These ones that I use have all got good light fast, excellent light fastness. So I've got the, um, this is the burnt yellow ochre. This is the most brilliant, brilliant colour. I use this on the majority of my animal portraits if there's something that's sort of like a bit of orangey yellow. So I've used it in here in conjunction with other colours. Um, and it's just a really, really good, a good colour. Um, I've got a colour swatch chart that I'm going to have a bit of a play with and just show you what the colours are like. So this is a really brilliant pencil and one of my most used. Um, you've then got the raw umber. Again, fantastic colour, very nice and subtle. Um, it's sort of like that, that greeny, browny colour that you really do need in, um, you know, sort of like your chestnut animals, your brown animals. You really need to get some of those browny hues in there. So this is another really, really good one that I use a lot. I've then got the Copper Beach. This is, I think, my favourite neutral brown out of all the browns in all of the makes. Um, it's a really nice warm brown. It, it's just beautiful. Uh, it's a, and again, it's, it's hard, so you can use a little bit more pressure. Very subtle. Uh, is a really, really good colour. Then I've got the... Going to show you that one at the end because that's like a magic wand. I've then got the Venetian red again, another really really good color for your uh, sort of chestnutty type animals. I've used this in here, uh, sort of like in these ready areas in this bit here. Um, combined with the greeny colors, gives you that really nice natural looking feel. Um, you know, so again, the the having all of these different hues. So your uh, if we put those three together. So you've got your greeny browns in the raw umber, your neutral browns with the copper beach, and then your sort of like ready browns with your Venetian red. Having all those three hues in um, a piece, a, a brown or a chestnut piece, whatever, is going to make your work look more realistic. Um, then I've got the chocolate, which is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant dark brown but it's very very warm so you've got some lovely deep red undertones in that particular one uh, so I use that a lot um, again it's nice because you can you can go a little bit harder um, you know on your pressure so you can really fill in that tooth um, you know so I'd really recommend that one and then this last one which is a bit of a bit of a surprise actually it's bronze now it's not a metallic pencil so it's not like your golds and your silvers and, and um, you know, all of that type of stuff. It's it's the colour. And you can see, hopefully, 
it's like a real um, greeny brownie colour, uh, like a bronzy colour, I guess. And this is like a magic wand on something like the horn that I'm drawing here. So bringing in sort of those greeny hues in here and then I can mix this with maybe like a polychromos um, yellow ochre or something like that. Uh, and it's it's just the most fantastic colour. I've also used this one, the bronze, in the fur, in the, uh, the fur, in the wool in here uh, to create some of those darker areas so it's um this is like a, a a bit of a magic wand really combined with these other pencils so there's a set of 72 they have got some really nice colors but these are the core pencils that i use um, from the studio range and i can mix those in with my pablos with my polychromos with my luminance what tends to happen if you're using smooth paper is you you'd be better off using these as a first layer um, just because of how they lay down on the paper. However, on pastel mat and on drafting film, you can use them under or over any of the other colours and the other uh, makes of pencils and they work really well. But these don't work as well on smooth paper over the top of, say, a polychromos or a light fast or something like that. So I would use these as a, as a first layer or first layers. The horn that I've created here is the, I would say 90% of this has been created using the um, studio pencils. Um, so yeah, I would highly, highly recommend these pencils. So I've just got my little sketchbook here and I'm just going to show you how they, um, how they lay down, uh, you know, as, as a swatch. I don't really do swatches very often, but, um, you can see they're, they're nicely pigmented and I'm using relatively hard pressure here. I'd say a mid pressure but you can see how nicely they go down and the reason I like to use them on the pastel mat is because they are hard so uh, when I put them down on the um, you know on the uh, as a first layer the graininess uh, that you get with a much softer pencil isn't there so it kind of fills the tooth a little bit quicker um, you know so um, that's it just works really really nicely um, if I use it a little bit softer so that's very, very light pressure going on in there. I'm not very good at doing these swatches. It's not something that I do. <laughs> um, but you can see how nice and subtle that is. Um, you know, compared to something sort of like a polychromos where you get an awful lot more pigment. Um, so I'll just show you the bronze here. Again, I'll use that sort of mid pressure just to sort of get a little bit more of that color in there you can see that it's a really it is a greeny color but it's a really good natural greeny color so you would definitely use this in your animal um, uh, pieces especially in your orangey animals because of course um, the green is a complementary um, a complementary color of orange um, you know, if you look on the colour wheel, it's kind of just the opposite, the other way round to a like a violet or a purpley blue. So that works really well, really, really well with your oranges. Um, if I do the Venetian red and you'll see that my pencils are not very sharp. I don't sharpen my pencils. Um, I keep them sharp for eyes, but I don't use them sharp for the, the fur or anything like that. So I tend to sharpen them once when I begin a portrait and then I don't really sharpen them again. Um, I pretend I uh, pretend I prefer to use a blunter pencil it, it works quite well with the pastel mat and it also works really well with the drafting film and again here with a lighter pressure this is the Venetian red going down here so you can see it's a it's a, a very nice warm ready brown then I've got the oh, I've done the copper beach uh, the raw umber so again this is a, a really good, a little bit greenier brown, but still, still quite, still quite neutrally, I guess. Um, but it's um, still, still on the neutral um, range. But it's, uh, it's getting to that sort of nice greeny, greeny brown. Again, a really, really good choice for those sort of orangey, orangey animals. Uh, and then we've got um, chocolate. This one is a really lovely, deep, warm brown. And what's really nice about these pencils is because they're so hard, they are great for details. 
you know so um your details on pastel mat because it's a little bit of a grainier paper you can go in much finer with these um, so this is just one layer relatively medium pressure and then i'm just going to lighten my pressure off a little bit here and that's the that's the chocolate um, and then we have my favorite color of all which is the um burnt yellow ochre and this is a just a, a, a brilliant brilliant color they're all quite similar i guess um in hues but all used together they oh they they're just amazing and this is the this is a color that you um if you try and find an alternative a good match from the other makes of pencils you, you're not really going to get a very similar match you might get something kind of there but not really so these are the these are the colors that i would definitely recommend in the studio range so we have the copper beach we have the bronze we have the venetian red we have the uh, raw umber we have the chocolate and we have the burnt yellow ochre um i would definitely recommend if you were going to buy singles definitely recommend these uh, these six uh, you know for your animal portraits you know and if you can afford them the the full set it's quite nice to have they've got some lovely blues lovely bright colors in there um, but I would highly highly recommend these six particular pencils and these feature on my core pencil list um, and I will um, I'll leave a link for my core pencil pdf uh, in the description that you can download and then I'll talk about my other favorite pencils Polychromos, Lightfast, uh, Luminance, Pablos. Uh, I'll talk about those in um, in another another little video. So I, I hope that's been useful. Um, and these are the Derwent Studios. <laughs>